There always seems to be some threat of war looming in some part of the world. The scariest part of it all is knowing that there is always a risk that some country will escalate things to a point where someone will use an incredibly powerful weapon. Some of the larger world powers have invested a lot into their national defense and have ways to defend themselves from such weapons. In particular, the United States spends more on its national defense than most other countries combined. However, in recent years, some countries have been diligently working on certain weapons that can bypass or even break through certain defenses, leaving no way for someone to be able to stop them. From hypersonic missiles to nuclear-powered supercarriers, here are five military weapons that can't be stopped. One of the most crucial aspects to defense is being able to identify a threat and launching a preemptive strike against the threat. In order to do that in an effective manner, countries and superpowers need to be able to reach their target in a very short amount of time. So, working with the United States Air Force, the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA for short, developed an experimental hypersonic glide vehicle known as the Falcon Hypersonic Technology Vehicle 2. Built by Lockheed Martin Corp., the HTV-2 is made of carbon composite material capable of withstanding heats of 3,500 degrees Fahrenheit. Why would it need to withstand such temperatures? It's because this glide vehicle is designed to be launched into space where it would break free from the rocket and start its guided descent back down to Earth. Upon its descent, it would re-enter the Earth's atmosphere where it would burn for quite a while. However, its material would stop any real damage to its structure. What makes this weapon so deadly is the fact that it would be moving at incredible speeds. Mach 20, to be precise. At such speeds, three things happen. First, the glider reaches the target in an incredibly short amount of time. Second, it would come in so fast that many of the countries would not detect it until it was too late to defend. Third, any country that actually did pick up the HDV-2 would not be able to shoot a craft that travels more than 20 times the speed of sound. There are also other hypersonic gliders called AGM-183A and the DFZF. Along with the HTV-2, any of these gliders could either carry weapons or simply fly into the target. At such high speeds, it would surely decimate whatever they hit. For the next entry, we find ourselves in Russia, where they have been working on their own unstoppable weapon, which is a hypersonic cruise missile that is capable of destroying entire ships at sea. The missile is a further development of the HELA, or Hypersonic Experimental Flying Vehicle, developed by Russian weapons company NPO Mashinostroyenia. Original tests were in 2012 and 2013, when the Zircon was launched from a Tu-22M3 bomber. With some promising results, the Russians moved to launch it from the ground-based platform in 2015, with its first success in 2016. After continued improvements, it was reported in April of 2017 that the Zircon had reached speeds of Mach 8 during one particular test flight. But it didn't end there. As time progressed and various improvements were being made, the performance became greater and greater. On February 20th, 2019, Russian President Vladimir Putin stated that the missile is capable of accelerating up to Mach 9 and destroying both sea and land targets within a 620-mile radius. Just as with the Falcon hypersonic, the Zircon is unstoppable. First and most obvious is because of how fast it travels. There are a great number of missile defense systems in this world that can knock incoming threats out of the sky. However, when you have something traveling at nearly 10 times the speed of sound, it can't be done. Second, the Russians have taken this technology and tested it being launched from a variety of platforms, both land and sea. With a range of 620 miles, it becomes a much more lethal weapon when you put it on a boat just off the coast of any country. For centuries, one of the most pivotal aspects of any country's military has been its navy. From the old frigates of the 1700s to the huge battleships of the modern age, sea battles have shifted balances of power many times over. One major advancement in naval warfare came in the early 20th century with the development of the aircraft carrier. 
The ability to transport aircraft to any place of conflict in the world was a major contributing factor to the Allied victory during World War II. Today, aircraft carriers are still the dominant forces in the oceans. The most lethal of these are the Nimitz-class carriers, huge ships that are over a thousand feet long and displace anywhere from 100,000 to 104,000 tons and has an unlimited range due to the fact that they are all powered with nuclear power. In addition to the aircraft carried on board, the ships carry defensive equipment for use against missiles and hostile aircraft. These consist of either three or four NATO RIM-7 Sea Sparrow missile launchers designed for defense against aircraft and anti-ship missiles. The presence of nuclear weapons on board U.S. aircraft carriers since the end of the Cold War has neither been confirmed nor denied by the government. The very thing that makes aircraft carriers so deadly is among the same things that make them unstoppable. Early detection systems on these massive ships can sense incoming aircraft, ships, torpedoes, or missiles. If they can make it past the numerous fighters that can be deployed at a moment's notice, they would need to get past the various defensive countermeasures and then past a steel hull that can be a few feet thick. These are the very things that have made American Nimitz-class carriers the ultimate source of power in the seas. Warfare on land has always seen newer technological advances. One advancement that took warfare to a new level was the development of the tank. During World War II, it was a constant battle for dominance between the German Panzers and the American Shermans. Since then, though, there have been a number of other powerful tanks to come on the scene, including the T-90A from Russia, the Leopard II in Germany, and the Merkava IV from Israel. However, in 1992, there was a new development in tank warfare that started to shift the balance of power to the American side. The M829 is an American armor-piercing, fin-stabilized tank round that is composed of depleted uranium with a three-pedal composite sabot. It has the nickname the Silver Bullet as it is known for its incredible ability to punch through pretty much any armor in existence. In addition to this capability, it has been shown to be incredibly useful when it comes to busting bunkers and breaking through thick walls of compounds. Finally, it has the ability to either detonate on contact or have a delayed detonation, which is best for bunkers and bases. This round has gone through about five different levels of development, improving with each level. Now, it is an unstoppable force. Tests have shown that it can pierce through the densest material, or even deep underground, making it especially useful in campaigns launched against terrorist cells in the Middle East. Submarines are the scariest things that loom in the depths of our oceans. They are silent hunters, able to approach ships and shores undetected. Among the deadliest of these vessels is the Virginia-class attack submarine. This 377-foot-long vessel requires crews of 134 people and runs on nuclear power, making their range unlimited. The weapon systems on these subs are among the most advanced in history. They are equipped with 12 vertical missile launch tubes and four 533mm torpedo tubes. The vertical launching system has the capacity to launch 16 Tomahawk submarine-launched cruise missiles in a single salvo. There is a capacity for up to 26 Mod 6 heavyweight torpedoes and sub-harpoon anti-ship missiles to be fired from the 21-inch torpedo tubes. Mark 60 mines can also be fitted. In short, when you finally realize that this submarine is in the vicinity, it's already too late. These submarines are unstoppable because of their extremely quiet propulsion system. They can approach ships in near silence, ready to launch their payload of explosives and ammunition. If they were detected early on, it would be near impossible to sink them as they are all equipped with countermeasures and early warning systems, allowing them to disappear into the depths where the most sophisticated sonar systems would struggle to find them. It is terrifying to see the crazy amount of technology that has been applied to warfare today, but there's no sign of slowing down from the governments. Newer and more precise technology is being developed every day. It's just a matter of who discovers what first, which will shift the balance of power, whether for good or evil. To see more videos about military technology, click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.